the famous chef, the grandson of Saul, also came down to meet the king. He did not care for his feet, or trim his mustache, or wash his garments. On the day the king left, to the day he returned in peace. When he came down to Jerusalem to meet the king, the king said to him, Why did you not go with me, Mephibosheth? To this he said, My lord, the king, my servant tricked me, for your servant has said, Let me get my donkey saddle, so that I may ride on it and go with the king, for your servant is crippled. But he slandered your servant to my lord, the king. However, my lord the king is like an angel of the true God, so do whatever seems good to you. All of the household of my father could have been doomed to death by my lord the king. Instead, you place your servant Mondo's eating at your table. So we're right to have to cry out further to the king. Excellent. <laughs> that was excellent. Welcome to the school. You did a really good job with that. I, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, the council point that you were working on was accurate reading, and your accuracy was excellent in what was printed. So we really appreciate you working on that, because we know that that was not just an easy thing. Some, sometimes we take it for granted that we can just read and we just don't put forth a lot of effort into that. And you really put a lot of effort into that Bible reading assignment and we appreciate that effort. That was excellent. Now the, the council point talks about why that's important to uh, read accurately and to, to really be able to um, speak what the scripture says accurately. And so in our ministry school book on page 84, 85, under this council point, it talks about um, why we want to do that and uh, how to achieve it. If you look on the box on page 85, it says how to achieve accurate reading. What's the first thing it says? Practice, practice, practice. So although we may be able to just pick up and read, we need to practice this council point to, to make sure that we can do it accurately, we can convey the information uh, from the Bible. And that's an excellent thing. I look forward to all of your talks now in the future, so keep up the good work. This is a good council point for all of us to keep, uh, uh, keep mind of. Now let's give our attention to Sister Deja Marshall. Sister Sharon Whitley is her householder, and she's talking uh, from the page 26 in our New World Translation, so again, the beginning of our Bible, um, paragraphs 1 through 3. So we're going to see how she develops those scriptures. Now her setting is, she is making a return visit, so this is something that we can use uh, in the ministry, and uh, her theme is, how can you find happiness? So we'll see how we can use this. 